Well, we are just hours away from arguably one of the biggest international golf tournaments, putting the Queen City center stage. And this is a chance for hundreds of thousands to see everything that Charlotte has to offer with our local businesses, of course, hoping to benefit from all the buzz. WCNC Charlotte's Brandon Harper shows us where's the money on and off the golf course. Seeing green in more ways than one. The President's Cup making its way here to the Queen City means crowds of about 200,000 people are expected, according to the Charlotte Regional Visitors Authority. And that means sold out hotels and a big boost for small businesses invited to the course who hope to serve more than 1,000 people each day. Biggest platform Cousins Cuisines has ever been on. Evidently, some people in the city like our cuisines, like our food, and and it just and it really is an honor, man. It's like it's like a dream come true. Visitors of the President's Cup getting a taste of Charlotte, specifically from restaurants found in the Noda and South End neighborhoods, like What the Fries, a business that went from a food truck to a restaurant and now an international stage. We're just gonna do it just the What the Fries way. That's what we always do. We always come to uh, to impress. We try to go above and beyond with everything that we do, and. Uh, with the quality of our food, I think it'll uh, speak for itself. The CRVA says the golf competition is expected to be watched in more than 230 countries, putting a spotlight on Charlotte to be considered for potential future large-scale events to come. It will take us to another level. This is a market that we have never touched, probably, and... Um, yeah, this, of course, it should grow our business. I hope it will grow our business. But with more people comes more traffic. CMPD warning drivers of potential congestion and also suggesting rideshare options like Uber or Lyft to help ease parking concerns. And as a result, that's also giving a money boost to those drivers picking up and dropping off in and around the area, as well as surrounding businesses, too. People, you know, who don't get into golf as much, maybe they'll, you know, migrate over here, you know. So, um hoping for a, a big crowd each way. Brianna Harper, WCNC, Charlotte.